So nine years ago, Steve Jobs gave the iPhone 2G to the world, and nobody really knew what to say. It was exactly what we were all wanting, a phone, an iPod, the internet. It was a crazy achievement for its time. And now we have the iPhone 7s and 7 Pluses nine years later. It's crazy to see how far we've come, and I wanted to do a quick comparison of the two. Beginning with the design, notably it's a lot larger. Look at that in my hands. In most models recently, the camera has protruded, where on the old devices it didn't. Quick fun fact with the iPhone 2G, the camera only takes pictures, so there's no video mode, just a simple still frame, and the picture quality wasn't very good. We're now, with our iPhone 7s, we have crazy picture quality. at a two times optical zoom. A lot of other things have changed. The face of iOS. So this is iOS 10.1 and this is iOS 9.3.3. And as you can see, the animation, the usability has been mostly the same, but there's quite a few differences. So th even the keyboard to our control center, everything has kind of changed over the years. It's really neat to see how these devices have advanced. The image quality is another big thing. It's crazy how bright this device actually gets. And unfortunately, you can't even see the difference really with the true color, but you can see the pixelation. which is crazy to think that we used to say this is amazing. But, uh, you know, as technology advances, this, that's kind of what happens. There's a lot more features that come with iOS now. A lot more things you can do, like a notification center, which lacks on the iPhone 2G. A control panel, which you also don't get. A lot of this stuff actually came from the jailbreaks back in the day when we had the 2G. So it was, you know, a lot of how iOS is developed today, actually, I believe at least, is comes from the jailbreak scene, and that's pretty cool. We also now use our phones as wallets, which we've never really thought of doing before. Could you imagine nine years ago, Steve Jobs had walked out and said, this is your phone, this is your wallet, this is this, and this is that. We would have laughed at him like he was crazy, and now with the 7 Pluses, the 7s, 6, and back, there are wallets. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I like that uh, the design has stayed the same. I like that the size has changed. It's too small for me. It feels more like an Apple Watch. <laughs> and I just thought it'd be really cool to do this video just to kind of show you guys, not so much as a speed test, I mean, what do you want me to do? I mean, it's slow. <laughs> it's a nine-year-old device. I'm surprised it still powers on, but it works, and we use these devices. It was a great phone when it came out, and I absolutely love keeping it around to show people. Opening apps. It actually was pretty quick, and the animations were nice and smooth. As you can see here, this is on the internet. very slow internet but it is on the internet so there you go I mean that is the iPhone 2G versus the 7 plus in just an overall design and feel it's pretty cool to see them side by side and just compare so this video was just filmed for fun. I thought it was neat to take a look at both devices. 
Um, it wasn't really an informative video. It was just more or less to see each one side by side. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more. We'll see you again next time.